Today we're taking a quick look at the Casio DW291H, a somewhat larger and bulky digital watch from Casio's heavy duty lineup. This watch could be considered a G-Shock Lite since it checks off all the boxes except for impact resistance. It's got 200 meters of water resistance, a 10 year battery life, five alarms, multi-time with four cities, world time, a timer, and a stopwatch. This could be the perfect choice for those of you who consider the 5600 series of watches to be just a little bit too small. So let's dive right in and check out this watch and see what it's all about. Alright so first let's take a look at the dial. On the bottom you've got the HD logo along with water resist and 200 meters. At the top you've got the text for illuminator. This watch has a bright LED amber backlight that does a really good job of lighting up the dial. And under that you've got Casio with 10 year battery. This watch also has some interesting complications. So in the top right is an analog dial with hours, minutes, and seconds. It definitely is very small and tough to read and doesn't really serve any other purpose than telling the time. You might expect it to have some kind of animation with the timer or stopwatch, but that's not the case. There's also a 10 second animation LCD between the time and the date. And this module has big beefy numbers making it very visible and easy to read. And you've got a three letter day of the week with the month and date indicator right next to that. Pressing D in the bottom right cycles through the four multi times in the top left window. You've got T1, T2, T3, and T4. T1 is reserved for your home city. You can easily choose which cities go in those T slots by pressing D to select the right one, then holding down A, then using B or D to select the appropriate time zone, and finally pressing A to save it. And you can see that the time changes each time you switch T zones, so that's pretty handy for frequent travelers. Pressing C brings us into world time mode where you can of course cycle through the available cities. And when you find one that you want to swap to, just press A and B at the same time. And that will save your home city, which is now reflected in timekeeping mode. And let's go back and set that to New York City. This watch has five alarms and an hourly chime. It's also got a timer, so this one's set for three minutes. So if you press D, you can see that up in the top left corner, it's counting down in tenths of a second. While the LCD strip underneath that animates from right to left, counting down in 10 second increments. And then over in stopwatch mode, if you press D, you can see that the LCD screen up at the top is displaying one one hundredths of a second. And now the LCD animation below that is now counting up in 10 second increments from left to right. And let's give the backlight a test. It has a pretty strong backlight. You can check it out by pressing B. It's got an LED light with a nice amber glow. And you can set the duration to either one or three seconds. It's really bright and it looks great. All right, let's take a look at the case. This case measures 50.3 by 50.4 millimeters. So it is a pretty large watch. And compared to my 5610, you can see the size difference right here. So it's definitely a little bit bigger and bulkier, but surprisingly, it actually looks pretty decent on the wrist, which I'll show you in a minute. And the thickness of this watch is 13.6 millimeters. And here's another comparison with the 5610. And in case you're wondering, yes, those four screws on the bezel are removable. They're not just for show only. So it took a little bit of grunt work to get those off, but I did eventually get a couple off. And as you can see, the entire bezel is removable. The crystal is not attached to it. But the bezel can be completely removed, so if you're into modding, this could be a fun little project to work on. 
All in all, this case is pretty rugged. It's a resin case, and the texture of the resin is pretty hard, unlike the texture you might find on the 5610. The pushers are very big and really easy to press, as you can see right here. And those little protective areas around the pushers are firm and solid. I originally thought those might be kind of spongy, but nope, they are definitely firm and held there in place. And on the back here we've got four screws holding down the case back. And let's take a look at the band and also check out the lug width size. So we're looking at 18 millimeters for the lug width, so you can easily remove these bands and swap it out to whatever you'd like. It's pretty easy to push the pins out to get the strap off, so you can replace it with a NATO strap or a leather strap or anything you'd like. So the straps on this watch are a little wide, it's about 20 millimeters, and there's 11 holes. And it has a plastic clasp on the other end, but what do you expect for a $35 watch? And the bands have those little bumpers that connect up to the back of the case, which can actually prevent some damage if you drop this watch while it's not on your wrist. It's likely to end up landing on the strap. It's got a good solid construction, and like I said, the pushers are super easy to press even with gloves on. So I'm actually kind of impressed with the durability of this watch. All right, so let's give this a look on the wrist. I do have a 6.75 inch wrist and I am on hole number seven out of 11. And normally I would not wear anything over 48 millimeters. This clocks in at a little over 50 millimeters, so it is on the big side for me. But honestly, it doesn't look too big on my wrist. It's not that gaudy, but it definitely is a beefy watch. It's got some big numbers. It's got a really good looking case. And for the price of $35, I mean, you really can't go wrong. There's a couple links to Amazon and eBay in the description below if you want to check it out. And I've also got a link to the PDF file for the 3484 module that's inside this watch. Anyway, check it out and uh, maybe pick this one up for your collection. So thanks a lot for joining. I appreciate it. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more Casio watch reviews. Have a good day.